All right, everyone, welcome to the channel. Welcome to this video. Welcome to the table. So this one is, um, it's for Year of the Dragon. I'm reading in Year of the Dragon. And it came to me as fairies riding on the back of dragons. So it's just whatever's going to come out, okay? Um, I don't actually have any dragon decks, unfortunately, to weave in here. We do have the fairy decks and um, some things that I hear dragons like, shiny things uh, I've heard they like. So I've got some color cards and we've got crystals on the table, um, some animals, animal cards as well. So yeah, Earth Day is coming up. I'm using some Earth, Earth-like decks, the moon, um, the fae. So it's just kind of inspired as like the uh, the mythical realms we're gonna call it here and planet earth so um those of you who believe in the veil welcome aboard and those of you who are just here to be entertained and see what comes through for messages because it's a fun topic or you're intrigued or whatever then welcome as well all right so um i'm also doing i did some i call them mandalas um just like mandala drawings here so I'm going to do some mandala in interpretation as well or divination as well pile one you're over here pile two you are here pile three you are here with the fairy house and pile four you're over here at the end with this mandala take your time selecting your pile your time stamps are down below in the description and I'll see you at your reading Pause the video now if you need some more time. All right, here we go. So option one. Full moon in Gemini, embrace the flow of life. All right, the guides are saying it's like themes for the year, possibly. You can interpret it that way. Some of you just take it as a message for right now. The blue fairy, the book fairy, the earth element, magnolia, the fire element. Okay. And then we have for a color card, peach, inhale a breath of life. Yeah, I thought I was picking up on that energy. So you have a theme or an energy here about um, sensuousness, your senses, the earth. Okay, and they're okay. So I had to bend down to pick up um, some cards and that caused the camera to focus in on the earth element yeah it's like you've got this earthly body here we're here on planet earth and they're talking about being able to enjoy that through the five senses and other senses as well here with the blue fairy but for the moment let's talk about the five senses right this sensuous sensual energy the smell of beautiful flowers magnolias um all of your senses here we've got the candle the peach you know things um, that taste really nice whatever lights you up with the fire element here you've also got a theme of um, with the books so there could be some cool books that you're reading um, this year or some of you maybe are writing books newspaper trees yeah just like the written word in general so it feels like it could be newspaper, it could be magazines, it could be books, stories. I'm hearing stories in general too. Nutty putty. So here we got somebody getting their hands, you know, like the senses, the the feel of um, the sense of touch. What things feel like textures, the nutty putty. Some of you too, it's about getting your hands into something you're creating. You're really getting your hands into something. 
this year journey focus on how far you have come not how far you have to go you will find help in unexpected places volcano volatility the fire element some sort of eruption Okay, um, some sort of release, some sort of eruption. I know it says volatility on it, but I feel like this also, okay, here we have amethyst. This also could be talking about happy eruptions, you know, like laughter and like expressions of joy, great joy. Hmm. This is also talking, let's get the other crystals out. Howlite, heart chakra energy, appetite, the blue, three of feathers, grow, speak, reverse. Yeah, there's this message of like, when you're sad, your spirit guides, like the others are sad too. So it's like, this energy of not wanting you to be sad um <clears throat> bringing relief to that it's part of a cycle bringing relief to that and just knowing though that there are certain things here tools here um of the earthly world and just within you too that can assist you in in feeling better um the three crystals here we have from the heart chakra up represented so heart chakra throat chakra third eye crown chakra and it just feels like there's this love and healing energy. And there's also an expansion of awareness, gaining knowledge. Um, honeybee, heart awakener. Yeah. Spirit guides are giving me the word faith. And they're bringing me to like spirituality to the guardian of feathers, the eagle. And crocodile and butterfly, master of discernment, 20 major arcana, it's in reverse position. Okay, so basically, let me look at this for a little bit. Yeah, there's like this cluttery type energy, which they're, they want me to be non-judgmental about it because they're saying, okay, with this cluttery energy, it's a sign of abundance. Okay, there's plenty, there's plenty of thoughts, but sometimes it can be painful or like cause um, basically painful because it's like too much, too many thoughts. It's just you eat too much, you, you, it hurts, like you overthink, there's too much thoughts, there's a mental overload and it hurts. So it's like there's beauty in collecting all this and having that abundance. And it can be useful, but they are giving this message of like, it's safe. You can ease up on yourself, be gentle with yourself, um, lighten your load. Um, there's also this message about lost, the concept of lost and certain things. Some of you may think like you'll lose it if you don't hold on to it. You don't keep it. Um, but they're saying like higher truth, higher truth, spiritual power. An ability to reclaim if it's truly yours if it's truly meant for you your you, the love in your heart you have the ability to reunite with these things reconnect um, here so basically how many more messages hmm card was embrace the flow of life For some of you, it feels like a preparation year. Maybe next year, there's going to be some sort of major life change for you. Um, with the 20 of Major Arcana here being reversed. Others is just saying, like, I feel like it's this energy of being able to kind of relax into things, go with the flow, yet still be consciously creating. Um, yeah, there's the fire element here. 
and this could be representing people with personal placements and fire signs for some of you just as the earth element could be representing that it's kind of a theme this year you might have partnerships relationships you're connecting with them um there's just energy of warmth that comes through very strongly the fire element here and it's like warmth within your body um using fire however you choose uh, that could be misinterpreted don't misinterpret that you know what i'm saying um basically it's your life and yeah you we can use our, our passion our fiery energy within and have things erupt and outbursts and um be very passionate and aggressive and all of these things but um we can also we don't have to all the time right like we can get into a pattern people can get into a pattern of that humans can get into a pattern of that um you don't always have to sometimes you can create something different you can use that energy and you can shape it into something else you can create a warm environment for yourself you know what i mean you can you can exercise you can burn off the energy um and so that comes up as a message some of you could be doing some upcycling with newspapers or see something really interesting in a newspaper and getting as well uh what else do we have here i feel like okay i do feel like dragon energy here you can call them spirit guides or just energy around and like they breathe fire it's volatility and it feels like it's in the corner here because it's like it's a defending energy it's defending you in some way, protecting you and defending you as you create your story and live your life and explore yourself, explore the dimensions, explore your spirituality, your emotions, your feelings. Um, blue could be a really lucky color for you this year, as could peach. It feels like different times, different people. Again, you have this energy of abundance here. I'm also getting pink as a powerful color, an enjoyable color. Come through. Okay, I see some of y'all counting something. There's quite a bit of it, whatever it is. You're counting, you're keeping track of it. There's something sacred here connected to the rain as well, or teardrops. I'm seeing maybe teardrops for some of y'all, or raindrops. Hmm. What else do we have here? Um, seeing some sort of keyhole. It looks kind of different than uh, most, so it might stand out in some way. Um, it's kind of eccentric or different sort of solution could be representing some sort of solution they're also talking about the energy the fire and the energy coming off from you yes your aura but it's coming through more as like heat or energy coming off from you it's in the aura they're saying hmm We're talking about speaking love speaking love you see this up here <clears throat> to me it just appeared as like a face with square eyes and the pink tongue and it's spitting something green like outlined in green and white it's coming off the tongue or it's going on the tongue I'm not sure maybe that's a sign it's talking about eating greens or it's talking about somebody vomiting maybe even um, but I feel like it's more about speaking words of love, something coming from the heart. Some of y'all might have like a poem or a letter or something that you get in writing that really came, came out of your heart um, this year. I'm seeing some sort of a really beautiful blue flower. Again, this is a general reading, so not everything, you, you may not be claiming everything in the reading is yours, but... I'm seeing some really beautiful blue flower. And there's energies, magical energies connected to it. I feel the fae near it, but um, it's it's just coming through as something supernatural um, in, a, in a positive way, in a very loving way around it, something magical around this flower. 
I'm also seeing a flag. Um, it is showing up as a white flag outlined in pink. So it could be some sort of surrender in the name of love or like surrendering to the heart. Um, a surrender that's very beneficial, that's protected by heart energy. But I feel like this could also be representing some sort of flag. It might not be white. You all might see some sort of flag this year. Um, or maybe you're joining some sort of group or club or you get a flag. Maybe it's like a flag for your garden. Because I'm seeing like just like flowers and cherry things on a flag now. So yeah, there's a certain like order and elegance with your reading here. Um it's like structured in a certain way it's creating something mm, distinctive i'm also seeing a fork um, kind of looks like a garden tool as well so that might connect in for some of you in some way i will go ahead and leave your reading here and move into the next one any blessings bye bye Okay, option two, welcome again. New moon in Leo, shine. The magic frog. The bubble rider. The attitude. Rescue, Summer Dragon, Lake Stillness, okay. Your color card is Burgundy, Awaken Your Passion. So you all have a lot of fiery energy, so to speak. It's it's like hot energy, kind of Martian-like energy um, here. Summer may be really highlighted, especially when the sun is in Leo, new moon in Leo. Um, this year, too, there could be something significant going on. Maybe you want to keep a journal handy or document it in some way. Take note of that. Um, some of you, there's like an attitude situation Okay, it's like a fiery or temperament type attitude that could be destruct destructive in some way if the energies aren't balanced or managed within you. Um, or maybe it does kind of scorch you a bit. Somebody says something hurtful or there's some sort of like combative energy. Um, but I see like a bunch of, there's like a variety of different options and ways that you can maneuver around this or through it. And we have the rescued card so there's this message like you're gonna be okay okay you're gonna be okay you're gonna be rescued in some way shape or form from this situation um rescued some of you this is like some sort of literal thing maybe you're adopting a cat or a dog for example or maybe you have to go on some sort of rescue mission at some point in the year um, for others, you're going to find yourself in some sort of trouble and you're rescued. But I feel like for some of you, it's kind of, it, this is coming through as more of a warning message or like just a foresight into it saying you have options. You can go down that road and get yourself in that trouble. You'll be rescued or you can kind of save yourself the trouble um, here. So the magic frog to me is talking about some sort of leap like leaping over the situation, taking the high road, taking the high ground, or for some of you possibly doing some quantum leap. Um, the bubble rider here as well. It's like lightening your energy, lightening your vibration, floating over the situation above it. Um, and then this Lake Stillness card talks about like 
being still, um, maybe not being reactive to something, um, refusing to give it energy and be reactive or combative with something. This could also talk about meditation, stillness. All right. Well, what else do we have here? Action. Stop hesitating. Movement creates the magic. Nothing can hold you back. Yeah, it feels like a balance. It's about the balance, you know, because obviously we're not moving all the time, constantly taking a taking action. Um, inaction is an action too. So sometimes it's like meditation is the action. Sleep is the action. Um, and then sometimes it's like, you know, doing tasks or, or whatever. You've got Rainbow Mayanite here, Master Number 22. Selenite. Turquoise. Again, yeah, it's it's the combination of earth and sky energy with turquoise. Um, the earthly dimension realm and then the spirit world. Some of you might be blowing bubbles or see bubbles blown somewhere. Um, some of you could see a rainbow, something very beautiful and colorful. I'm picking up on as well, the secret of shells, polar bear energy. Um, this is kind of a romantic energy. Yeah, this is just an energy of enjoying yourself, enjoying what life has to offer, the year has to offer. But it also feels like it could be talking about a few different things. It could be talking about... Um, somebody with personal placements in one of the water signs that you're connecting with. It could be talking about um, making art or just, again, like finding romance in life. Sometimes we do this on our own as human beings. Um, sometimes we're with other people. It is feeling like some sort of specific partnership or romantic relationship or dating for some of you. Um, and it's about like it's an emotional connection. It's about connecting emotionally and connecting spiritually and enjoying the pleasures of life together. And connection. Will the all-encompassing 21 major arcana, showing up reverse, ten of branches, scarab beetle, <clears throat> the owl, nine of major arcana, keeper of light, and string spider webs. Okay, some of y'all, there might be spiders around, spider webs. Um, Halloween could be a significant time. Some of you too, this could be referring to the World Wide Web. Maybe you're doing some things on the internet this year as well. Okay, where's your other crystal card? You have selenite, rainbow myonite, okay, and turquoise. Yes. Okay, so something is being achieved this year that you worked towards. You really built up the energy around this. You put in a lot of effort or work or it's been a journey, whatever it is. There's quite an accumulation of energy around it and showing up as the end of a cycle and the rebirth into a new cycle. So it's like finishing some sort of task. Right, and then um, moving on into the next one or the next part of the cycle. Um, kind of want to get some clarification on this whale reverse energy, the major arcana. Some of you are the. This came up with pile one too, so maybe it's a collective thing. But some of you like this year is showing up as the last year in some in like an era for you um or there's some sort of a milestone change that you're preparing for in the year to come um in the next year it's like you know not quite here yet the major arcana energy um but there's these like micro endings and cycles that are being highlighted there's this message about using your your senses your um, wisdom, the keeper of the light, um, consulting others you know, like spiritually or people um, as needed, as guided for their wisdom in making decisions and so you're collaborating. 
Um, I think that y'all are going to have some interesting dreams, insightful dreams this year. I see that coming through as a bit of a theme as well. There's definitely potential to connect with um, spiritual aspects of yourself and the universe through things like meditation, resting by a lake, taking right action, which you're guided to. Um, I really get a strong sacral chakra energy too, like root chakra, sacral chakra. So some of you might do some sort of healing, work with some sort of crystals connected to those areas. Um, but yeah, it feels like there's some sort of revelation or discovering from from within. It's kind of like unveiled to you through... I don't know, just through the process, you're living your life and you're choosing peacefulness. And if you place the intention for that, and some of you, even if you haven't placed an intention, and just feel like certain things um, about yourself or life or purpose um, are going to come through. Some of you might like experience some sixth sensory things or things that make you question um, or believe in something greater than yourself and in, in like 3d experience um, I just feel like this could be something yeah it's like when things happen and you know that there's synchronicities rather than coincidences because that's the only one that makes sense or um, psychic dreams or it's something like unexplainable something unexplainable beyond like the world is miraculous and full of magic and um so are you and like that not everything is known consciously um yeah this interconnected energy the web here okay um i'm getting like an order in the chaos some of you beauty and order in the chaos some of you, there's something here with a lot of details or very intricate that you're working with or looking at. Um, and it's like how you look at it, where you focus. You're taking the bird's eye view when you're relaxed, when you have a relaxed gaze, when you're looking at the whole picture, when you zoom in at specific areas and details. Um, that is like, that affects the result. The result changes based on that. Yeah, I see some really beautiful things here in summertime, especially um, autumn, spring too, it's like all year, but um, summer is really highlighted. Okay, they're showing me red, some sort of red fauna, red plant. Um, also rain. Okay, so like some of you really connecting spiritually through the rain or... There's a significant experience that happens during rain. I'm also seeing a white flower here. I think it's a lily, but I'm not sure. Okay, there's a bit of like chaos around the heart or somebody's heart um, at certain points here. It's almost like something like trying to cover it up or there's like confusion or some sort of like trying to protect the heart. But it's coming through kind of like webby energy, something that um, is like keeping the heart from being seen or what's in the heart from being noticed. It's sort of like camouflage. It's not completely invisible, but it's like not everybody's going to see it or pick up on it. It's more subtle. And so people have to be tuned into your vibration or your energy or this other person's because you have the seeker of shells energy here. I feel like this could be a romantic interest or somebody that you care about deeply. The guides are saying the word deeply. But it's kind of how you interpret the word deeply as well because this feels like an emotional and spiritual connection. Um, it does it doesn't feel like it necessarily has to be somebody that you've known for a long time you could even be meeting this person this year i'm seeing a lot here with waterways like streams rivers um yeah water flo flowing water as well as we have the lake energy here anything else in closing
I am seeing a blue eye. Um, man, what is this? It may be connected to the rain or the water element for some of you. It's like right in, you see that? It's like right in the center of the circle and I didn't see it at first. It could be talking about the third eye. Um, it could even be like something on TV or an, I guess an animal's eye. But it's looking like a blue eye to me. And I say it could be the third eye because it's the third eye chakra is associated with the color blue. And it being right in the center here, sometimes that talks to me about like the heart mind, the third eye and the heart chakra area together. Oh, wow. Yeah. Um, I, am, I, I am picking up on some things that are like out of this world. Um, could be on another planet, be an interdimensional planet, something from your dream time, possibly here it could even be like an ai generated thing i guess or from somebody's imagination but it's like things that we haven't seen before on earth or you haven't seen before um on earth some sort of i'm seeing like some sort of blue plant <clears throat> here um yeah it's like a blue tree uh, they're talking about blue apples or things like different colors than uh, the earth plane but it exists energetically. So, anything else? Yeah, I feel like individuals are going to be tapping into that in their own way. There's a lot of points here, a lot of pointed energy points. So, I'm not sure what this is. Like, somebody, you finally get the point of something, or this is a sharp energy. Um, maybe it has to do with your job or your work, but there's a lot of like pointed energy. Okay. So I will leave your reading here. You do have the amplifier energy of selenite here as well. And it's with the number 21. It's making me feel like when you're ready, when you're of a certain maturity spiritually speaking emotionally and mentally speaking a certain maturity level for some of you it does have to do with like the age that you're turning this year um but i feel like at, at some point there is going to be the ability to tap into something that allows you to accelerate something else whether it's like accelerate the pace or the speed of something or the energy with something the passion um, uh, it could be a relationship. I'm not sure, but you have that on the table too. Okay. So now we are at pile three's reading. Pile three, I welcome you. So you have last quarter moon in Taurus. Be proud of yourself. Kitchen rhythm instruments. Wonder windows. Oh, I'm getting a song coming into my head now. The windows. Outside looking in. Don't know how much time has passed. Now it feels like forever. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we have the Earth Father Ram reverse the deer, the seven of fossils. Ibis, nurture of feathers reverse as well. It's like everything came upside down initially with your deck, um, with your um, pile, and it felt like some of y'all might see something like a bat or something kind of upside down at some point um, that has significance. Scorpio, five of branches. It was also reversed. Let's get that reverse here. And we have the oldest fairy, the chocolate brownie fairy, caffeine overload, 
and forget me not yeah the wonder windows it feels like this energy of like some sort of separation um it could be in the physical it could be like a veil energetically speaking um separation with a part of yourself that you sort of lost track of lost track of or lost connection with for a period of time you haven't tapped into that and connected with it maybe for example you connect to a piece a part of your soul and spirit and life through music right we could say spirit guides we can say other dimensions or realms as well or the magic the fae here the dragons um maybe this is about a spiritual connection you have with a person um but yeah it feels like it feels like that like right and then the oldest fairy here too it feels like this is apt to be something that maybe from your childhood or you and this energy go way back um maybe even before this lifetime it's like a soul recognition soul thing so, um, yeah, that's coming through as a theme, a possibility, a message about connecting, reconnecting with that this year, autumn equinox release, especially in autumn. Okay. Um, and the autumn season is really highlighted for you this year too. What else do we have? What are you looking at? Partnership. Learn to grow with others. Overcome obstacles by working together. Touch each other's hearts while life lasts. And the color card is yellow. Purify your body, master number 22. I got <laughs> another song went into my head, though, when this came out. Like, Mellow yellow. Your pile is really musical. That hasn't come through with the other ones. Um, there's something here about that with yours. Okay, your crystals include, I think you pronounce that Shivilagam. You also have Rhodosite and Garnet. Okay. So darker crystals. Your pile has really like a lot of darker crystals, earth star chakra energy, um, as well as root chakra energy brown crystals this one's actually purple but it's like one of the more brownish purples um with the picture i am seeing mud okay for whatever reason I'm seeing mud with yours oh you guys got left out you don't have a, a crystal that is just not acceptable what are we going to do about this you don't have one I can't deal with that. All right, I'm going to have to, like, draw yours up later or something. Your mandala and um, post a picture with some commentary or something. I don't know. What are we going to do about that? No, I can't do that. What are we going to do? I can't just draw one up real quick. It's a bit of a conundrum. So you have music coming through and no mandala. Something is going to be is non-visual all right there's something important this year that's non-visual i feel like it could be musical it some of you it's more of a sixth sensory thing it's more of like of subtle energy that you can tap into it might have to do with dream times or intuition or yeah like inner knowing okay it could be a feeling the guys just want to point that out okay um, food, food, there's a bit of a theme around food, the chocolate brownie fairy, maybe chocolate or brownies in, in particular, junk food, sweet treats, cooking. Okay, so you have the deer reverse, the nurture of feathers reverse, forget me not. It's like there's this message okay for some of you there's a theme or a storyline the guys are talking about connecting to somebody an elder okay somebody an elder here wise one 
but I do feel like it's also um, like the wisdom in the universe the older energy in the universe with the older fairy and I think this is a great fortune and like to your like it's kind of an honor to you not kind of it's an honor that the oldest fairy would show up in your reading um, I do feel like you're very gentle people or you can be some of you maybe you have like a a scorpion tail or a, yeah some sort of stinger or some sort of like poison or you know that the dragon's fire you have your defense mechanisms um, and things to protect yourself and yes you have the ability to misuse them with free will as well but inside and like truly at your core I feel like you are very gentle beautiful beings um, you have the the deer energy here and I feel like that's part of why the oldest fairy would show up right um so caffeine overload that could be talking about you or somebody else something doing something with your energy um <clears throat> partnership is highlighted uh, i do feel like joy and happiness the money card shocker energy the yellow card showing up and and be proud of yourself it's about like your how you feel right feeling good how you feel is in importance um yeah there could be something you need to release within your body um or energetically because the guides are like they're talking about reconnecting you with something else it's like um a reunion that allows you to appreciate life and earth and yourself and love and connect to more enjoyable energies um <clears throat> So it's like a releasing and an allowing to come through. Okay. Yeah, there is some challenging energy here. Um, and I do see some zodiac sign energy. We have Scorpio showing up, uh, potentially Gemini, Libra, and or Aquarius, as well as Aries energy showing up. Um, so you could be interacting with those um, people with um, those personal placements in their chart. Okay. Um, there's like a rebellious energy for some of you. I feel like there's a certain rebellious energy. Or there's something tapping into this it feels like it, it, you would go more into it with a different type of reading okay than this one is providing the oldest fairy not that you have to because your answers you can find within yourself and the vastness of the universe without me translating it or the cards translating it but I feel like you're collecting something here for a creation it's like a recipe or something you're cooking up you're showing you collecting it collecting the ingredients for it there could be some sort of souvenir you receive or give to somebody um it could be a photo or it's just something like to remember one another by or an experience it, it might be multiple things I feel like y'all could make music. The Fae would love that if you work with the Fae. Yeah, you have to be exposed to some music, some creations. And I feel like you could really create music in particular is coming through. But cooking as well, it's like whatever you're guided to. There's going to be some things that you need to decipher. It's like you need to, you're going to choose to, I think, too. It's like you're looking at things um, from different energies, different perspectives. It's like you might, something might present it to yourself when you're in one vibrational frequency, feeling a certain way, thinking a certain way, holding a certain type of energy. And then instead of reacting and letting, like forgetting about it, you also you like release your energy free up your energy you change your energy and your vibration your mood your thinking and you you reevaluate it and it evolves you're looking at it in different um places like that 
okay some of you will be in a forest or a place in nature and the sun is shining down on you i feel some sort of memory memory but i also feel like light body upgrade here there's a connection with codes okay soul soul codes um, being transmitted what's that word the uh, communion you're in communion with a higher force at this time I'm not sure which season it is. It could vary from person to person who chose this pile, but I'm seeing that. Okay. Um, that is what I've got coming through for you at this time. I'm going to go ahead and move into the next reading. Bye-bye. Okay, pile four, welcome. You have last quarter moon in Scorpio. Reveal what needs to be seen. Wish you were here. Shaman. Moon secret. Coffee break. Adoration. Orange, nurture yourself. Okay. <clears throat> Adversity. See the gifts in challenge. One can be taught within the calm, but the greatest lessons are learned from the storms. <clears throat> Whale breach. Rose quartz. I feel like a tickle in my throat. <clears throat> Some of you, there, you could be having situations with your throat chakra this year. Maybe a need for healing or adjustment, or you're just going through that. Um, let me clear my throat. <clears> Others <throat> is just talking like about something you, you're figuring out you need to express and coming up for air, like letting that out. The dolphin here too. To sound your song. I also feel like the universe is it communication is two ways and the universe, your spirit guides, um, definitely have some things to say to you to express to you that you're meant to hear or take in um here there's a there's quite a bit of um moonlit water energy so some of you this year it's talking about you being by a body of water at night okay um might be a full moon but it doesn't have to be i see different moon phases in the images um so yeah, there's something really sacred about that. I feel like there are other beings around you, um, like nymphs or mer beings, um, possibly. I'm not sure what I'm picking up on exactly. It feels like kind of water spirits that hang out by water. It could be fae, but it doesn't feel as much like fae. Um, but it is some sort of energy, and I feel like you might not see it, or you might not know about it even. But it might feel a little different, or you might kind of perceive that there's something more, you know, be tapped into a mystery, or feel like the enchantment of the environment. Okay, so I'm seeing them around, I'm seeing that around. They enjoy your presence. They enjoy your presence. Um, they're a little curious about you, though, and like what you're doing, I feel. Um, I feel like your energy could be kind of tight at times here too and you have the opportunity to relax deeper and to connect with an aspect of your soul and higher forces here the shaman energy there's healing essentially there's healing you can receive here um, the orange energy pointing to the sacral chakra for some of you um, there's like a be cautious energy here too though about this moon water energy so I mean use your intuition um, if you get like a, a weird feeling telling you to leave or you know 
bugs i'm seeing like mosquitoes or something like that that your presence you know your presence may not be welcome in that area at that time you could be like wanted somewhere else in the universe so it's time to go um so yeah your intuition let's see we've got purple right master number 44 yeah there's some depth to you in the situation this year trigonic quartz raccoon seer of fossils this is earth sign energy for some of you there's um, a connection with a person who has personal placements in one of the earth signs that's highlighted we've got fire signs here too so there's kind of a theme around people with fire earth um especially sagittarius and nine of fossils wolf reverse okay And then we also have, yeah, silhouette pictures and rainy day activities. Okay. There's a lot of dark energy with your reading. A lot of darkness, like rain, gray energy, it's talking about storms, nighttime, um, like, what do we call it? Twilight. And then we have the silhouette pictures. There might be a bit of uh, shadow work going on here or just... I don't know. There's some sort of theme with that. And even like the purple, right? Very dark, deep purple. So, not all darkness is bad. Some darkness is painful. Um, some darkness is just like enchanting. There's a secrecy, a privacy to it. Make time to come up for air. If there's that message coming through this year make sure you're making time to come up for air for breathers take your little breaks um yeah break up the monotony bring bring some diversity into your situation because you don't want to feel like it could weigh you down or kind of bog you down or you're going to be like in the dark about certain things that you otherwise wouldn't and the guides are just pointing to that like they want you to feel freer and they want you to have more illumination about certain things. Heart wisdom, they're saying too. Heart wisdom is a theme. Spirit of freedom may be a theme. You're really seeing somebody's passion. Some of you, you're really seeing somebody's passion this year. It could be your own. It could be somebody else's. Um, it could just be in nature. Like the passion of the world. Um, life here. It's kind of magical. Okay, let me, let me look at this for a minute. Yeah, adoration too. So you're talking about something or someone that's going to adore you, okay? Miss you when you're gone or does adore you and you're separated from them. Wish you were here. Adoration and or vice versa. Um, but I feel like you're also... You know at times with that which you adore uh, that and who you adore okay it's definitely coming through as advice if nothing else um so it's like yes there's going to be adversity there's going to be challenge but there's also like great beauty great beauty things you adore um beautiful sounds expression of life coming through magic things in in like earth on earth things like the dolphin singing and birds singing um things that are you know unseen or um we could say in different dimensions or spiritual as well so yeah maybe in the dreams but i'm getting more of like it's feelings or it's um it's it's the other side of the veil and it's like you may not fully be picking up on it like you're not there you're here but there's sort of a there's a connection okay just like the whale is partially in the water partially above air i feel like there's times when you're you're connected and um i don't know that looks kind of cool okay so Breaks are actually coming up as a theme with your reading too. The coffee break and the breach, the whale coming up for air. It's like you may be very focused 
or spending three fourths of your time, your energy doing, you know, X, Y, and Z. But then that one fourth of the time, it's like a breath of fresh air. You're coming up for air and you're doing A, B, and C. And um, I feel like you appreciate that, you know. Um, But yeah, I feel the blend like that. It's like three fourths to a fourth of the time. That's coming through as a theme. Okay. Um, Spirals. I'm seeing something spiraled. Okay. Um, It's multiple things. So, I don't know, sacred geometry. Um, It might be talking about something in particular. It's talking about paying attention to something. Something's going to be highlighted. It's connected to a spiral. I'm also hearing the word sparkles. Um, This could be in the water, some of you. I'm not sure what this is about. It could be a design. It could be multiple things. Spiraling. Okay. Um, I'm seeing a fence. This is a general read, so not everything's going to necessarily um be for you but yeah i'm seeing some sort of fence fenced in here um the letter s some of you n or m as well something's being combed or raked It's like bringing an organization to it. It's like cleaning it, organizing it. Um, It has a nice effect. Nice clean effect, whatever it is. I'm actually seeing a Zen garden, somebody raking a Zen garden in my mind's eye too. Okay, there's something here about a box. One of the piles had a window. You have this uh, wonder windows, it was called from this deck. You have the silhouette pictures and you have this box and you see like the it's a square around the silhouette pictures so in this box there's what two four six sides to a box um there's something different about this this feels like yes it could be talking about an actual box or boxes maybe it's a special package you're getting maybe you're moving so you're using a lot of boxes or you're doing that for work working with boxes Um, maybe it's something specific, you know, that's square like a box, but there's something beyond that. There's something more to this. It's like there's different doorways or something, or it's like you're boxed in, you have your room, you have your comfort zone, you have your area, uh, whatever it is. And one, there's like a door and it's green. So it feels like it's connected to the heart, the rose quartz here, but also connected to, the 3d and the natural world like plant life the green here so it's like through this door which can represent opportunities a door represents opportunities through this door through your heart chakra through nature you come out of being boxed in or you come out of that um yeah yeah, it's like coming out of being boxed in or that limited perspective and you can come you can go back it's showing up like a cave you know like a Um, your comfort cave, your sanctuary. You can go back, but you can also go out of it. So that's, that's cool. It's kind of like a portal energy, depending on how you um, define the word portal. Okay, I am seeing something um, triangular. I'm not sure it could be talking about a pyramid. But it looks, it doesn't look as 3D as pyramids usually appear. So maybe it's a mountain or a hill or it's something else. It is casting some sort of shadow or reflection. It could be in water. Um, it's got like a purple sun or a huge moon behind it. You see that? So I don't know if this is figurative or this is interdimensional. This is talking about like another planet, another dimension, something that comes through in the dream time. Um, I don't know. But uh, maybe you do. See that big, it, it really feels like a big purple sun or a big purple moon or something there. And then you've got like the reflection of it in the water, just casting a shadow. But this also is showing up to me as, and we can look at it metaphorically, is showing up to me as having layers. Layers. Um, could represent stacking different things or like dismantling layers to something to get to the point it's like 
there's layers. We've got the point and then there's layers. There's different layers of it. Things beneath the surface. Um, hmm. What else do we see here? I'm seeing a coat hanger. I don't know why. Some funny looking coat hanger or a moment and it's just connected. They're connecting it into a coat hanger as a way to identify this moment. Um, so that you'll remember the reading, something that was said in the reading when it comes about. Yeah, I'm seeing like green rays too. It'd be like rays of the sun, but they're green. So again, I don't know if that's interdimensional, it's in a dream, it's in a movie. That could have to do with like uh, the reflection of the sun off from green plants for some of you, or green water even. Okay, there's something here about a the half moon, half moon phase. It's apt to be a dream that occurs during the half moon phase if you have a. Uh, a dream journal. You keep a dream journal. Feels like it could be in autumn, but I'm not sure. Uh, they want you to write it down. Make sure you write it down. It could turn into something more. It's like part of a story. You're writing your story. They're saying it could be part of it. It could be something more. There's a story in it or a story to it. There's maybe a moral in it or something to take away from it. Okay, I'm seeing something um, maybe quilted or it's like um, checkered in some way, clad. I do see a sailboat here. Some of you, it's, there's something with a sailboat. Okay, so... <clears throat> It feels like there's a part, there's, see, this is the thing. It feels like it, there's layers to it. There's layers to it. Um, there are people who wish you were with them, animals who wish you were with them, who miss you. I, I don't know if it's talking about right this moment or just like at times. Um, you too could have some nostalgia. You wish you were, others were with you. Um, but this also feels like an energy, a part of you that's like, push down or suppress or you feel separated from okay again it's like that portal we were talking about with the green uh, doorway and the uh, heart chakra energy um, as a way to reconnect it just feels like there's some sort of dark energy or heavy energy yeah it's like something repressed or suppressed or some sort of separation so wish you were here the shaman moon secrets the coffee break the adoration the adversity dolphins are coming through as a spirit guide so look them up to expand your messages and any of the other animals here you've got pegasus on the table you've got fox um, wolf is reverse and you got whale the wolf reverse feels to me like there's some sort of perceived danger or threat you know something harsh or vicious the wolf and it's like there's this working through it or seeing something in a different light or allowing healing to the situation because it also feels like you're protected okay this is here to protect you you are protected from this energy um this year the guides are giving me this message about being careful with what you're amplifying when you're amplifying things because um, it's like to the third power that triangle energy and you have the trigonic quartz here um, so it's like when in doubt you might want to hold back a little bit more because they want you not only at like adult maturity level mentally emotionally spiritually and whatever that means um, adult just means like you need to hit the bar, right? The, um, to use the amplification energy with that wolf energy there and everything that's going on with the darker energies and things they're talking about, like 
waiting a little longer, a few more degrees. They're using the word degrees um, before amplifying. So basically, let me try to simplify that, make that more clear to understand. If you're in doubt, if you're feeling wounded, sad, if you're coming from a place of pain and um, lack of self-confidence, if you're coming from a place of wanting to hurt yourself or other people, if you're coming from a place of envy, jealousy, any of that, you don't make that that bar, okay? This is talking about coming from a place of the vibes that you're looking to put out there for yourself to receive back, okay? Um... Some of you are really going to feel some liberation um, this year. Adventure is a possibility. Feels like the advent, a lot of the adventure is about seeing more of uh, love and beauty and like the freedom that you can experience and that you can assist others in experiencing or be a part of like their journey, their, them experiencing it. It feels like a very, um, it feels like an uplifting energy. You got a lot, look at the sunset, nighttime energy, so much of this. But yeah, with purple right here, like it just feels like there could be um, definitely some things coming through dreams too. Like maybe times this year where you feel like life is a dream, you know, you're really in the magic and it, you recognize it as just a dream and uh, you're co-creating in this dream and, you know, like all these wonderful things are possible. It's not just black and white or flat or 3D. You know, there's more than you've been focusing on previously. Okay. Spirit of Freedom, some of your branches. I do feel really drawn to your Purple Rate crystal. It's got that Master number 44, which could have significance to you. It's showing up as kind of another portal. Um, and this is like the Crown Chakra and some of this mysterious energy. Definitely like a Crown Chakra year for y'all. Something going on here with that. Okay, so really like a lot of spiritual richness. That's the word the guides want to use to leave you with there's a lot of spiritual richness here if you're reading your year um, at this time you may tap into okay so i'm gonna leave your reading here and um i wish you well bye-bye